Hey guys, welcome back to another GitHub Basics tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what the difference is between um, cloning it and downloading zip. So, cloning it is basically where you. Uh, so, I'm just going to click on clone, and I can clone the GitHub demo over here. And basically, what that will do is, what that will do is, it will. Uh, let me actually just give you an example. So. Clone an existing project, uh, GitHub demo, clone that, and I'll just save this in the same spot again. GitHub, oh, GitHub demo, clone two, because <laughs> I did one yesterday. And if I clone this, basically what this gives me is the exact replica of this in GitHub, but uh, it has source control already sorted out and I think uh, one more thing uh, I think it has version control as well so I would always clone your github repositories just because it's easier but now let me show you uh, um, how to what downloading it does so if you download the zip file uh, let me just take that there uh, wait let me just move that there okay I open that and then I can open this yep trust and open uh, so now we have both versions uh, and close all this other stuff put that over there so on the left is the clone version on the right is the version which we downloaded and basically they look identical here but if we go to the clone version we can do source control and we can just commit whatever changes we have and we don't actually have any but on this downloaded version you see we don't actually have anything since all we did was we technically we just downloaded it we didn't actually download the github repository uh, version so uh, well, if you wanna I would always recommend downloading as a zip file if you're having some problems with your repository and just wanna start over so you can just download it as a zip and then connect it to a different repository but for all other cases I would just use the clone method as it uh, allows you to just easily set up source control and it will push the exact same um, repository whereas I don't think we actually you can set it to the same one but it's a bit more complicated so it's just I'll just recommend doing this if you want to continue on a project which you lost or something so yeah that was how the difference is between cloning and zip uh, clone is an exact replica of this whereas zip is just like downloading it and you're not actually connected to a repository anymore thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye